everybody in the room today, all these leaders from all these organizations and federal agencies nationally, everybody got excited, but more importantly, people see the need and they want to be a part of the solution. Our national study findings show we still have a lot of opportunity in the area of evidence-based practice. Leaders also have to understand evidence-based practice is the direct pathway to get their hospitals and healthcare systems to quality, safety, and decreased costs. Uh, certainly, evidence-based practice is something on my mind all the time. I just met today with the head of research at the VA uh, in Washington talking about how can we better um, enact evidence-based practice in the context of cancer, which is what I do. I'm delighted to be here with you. I wish you the congratulations on this amazing gift, this amazing leader and leadership team, and together we're going to do great things. I think one of the most important takeaways is the high level of involvement from so many healthcare organizations that are at a federal, national level in trying to move this forward at a more rapid pace. So to have representation here from AHRQ, from the ANA, from NAGNET, just gives such an enormous um, validation to the importance of this work and that this particular fold trust is seen as being the best way of sharing this across all settings. So it's just, it honestly, I'm speechless. To be able to actually focus on building an evidence base and doing something positive to change the trajectory of so many lives is incredibly important. It's something that it's beyond important. It is, in fact, our calling as scientists and as universities. So the first step in um, evidence-based practice is clinical inquiry, asking questions, wondering, wanting to know why. We want you to write them down. We also are featuring Pico the Flying Pig as a, a fun way because people say, yeah, we'll fix that when pigs fly. So Pico the Flying Pig is here to tell you, you're darn right we will. We will fix it because it's the right thing to do and we know how to fix it. So today was really a great day for um, the opportunity for people who know of each other but don't know each other yet. And they had the opportunity to meet each other and be together and just synergistic conversations happening. And uh, so for me, it was a day where you see the possibilities of what, what we can do moving forward. It's really reassuring to know that the discussions that like-minded colleagues and I have in Ireland are the discussions that are happening here. Um, we always look to the United States in terms of following suit and seeing what you guys are doing over here. So yesterday I participated in the expert forum. It was good to see that evidence-based practice is alive and well in the United States. Great to see uh, folks from regulatory affairs, from academia, and from the hospitals that are delivering the care coming together to talk about EBP as one single voice. So I love coming to events like this, and this evidence-based forum has just been incredible to have the level of professionalism and collaboration. We are all working for the same good on how do we get evidence-based practice into our nursing environment every day so that we can improve the quality and the safety for our patients. And this is why it's so important uh, because we are not unlike the rest of any other healthcare system out there. We all have our challenges um, and uh, we have to figure out how to do this together and do it better for, for our patients. It's all about our patients, patients at the center of everything we do. I am actually thrilled to be here at the Evidence-Based Practice Summit. I am having a great time. It has been a fantastic day. I am having such a good time at this conference and I am so excited to see everybody from across the nation and across the world that's here all vested in evidence-based practice. It has been absolutely amazing. Keep dreaming, discovering, and delivering EBP. Thanks.